I'm Titi Lola. I'm Tej. This is Tech Point Africa podcast. This week on Tech Point Africa. Guess who's back, baby? My mm-hmm. name is Titi Lola. Olodimo. It's Titi in the building. Okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Are you going to say your name? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And Tej, can I call for back? Yeah. Okay. Tej is now a rapper, by the way. Yeah, my side hustle. Yeah. So that's why he's <laughs> exhibiting this very weird. <laughs> Um, People will see me in, the, in cool. like in the studio yeah, next year. From your yeah. point of view, for my know. EP, yeah, Tage is back. But anyways, yeah, nice to be here. Welcome to another episode of Tech Point Africa podcast. I am Uluwani Femi, and as you've seen earlier, we have some very distinguished guests in the house today, in the studio rather. And um, <laughs> as you also heard, they were like the first two voices on the Tech Point Africa podcast hey. when we took a shot at it in 2019. Good, <laughs> and uh, it's it's so nice to be to be with them in the studio today because um, I wouldn't have done it. Uh, I guess Mleti Muiwa calls me and say, let's do podcast. I would have run away from the studio because <laughs> I can't cook things up for my head and I don't like speaking to the mic. But these are the people that encourage me. It's a round of applause we'll try, for them. We'll try, we'll try. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and um, welcome, Titi. Welcome, Tage. Mm-hmm. It's, Thank it's, you for it's us. so beautiful to have you here today. Mm-hmm. And uh, when we conceived this idea in our head that we want to bring the podcast OGs to the studio but mm, like OGs. yes oh geez yes 2019 <laughs> is a long yeah, time really ago long. and um, you you brought life to the thought that we can do podcast because we had, we're not like into the have, showbiz business <laughs> i'm like we're doing our job but all right <laughs> if, it was, <laughs> if it was me now nah, like when you were please please i can't do this i i wouldn't have but yes that's nice um I don't know if you have any memories of of that first one. Of, of the not. first one. I know I, I took like lots of takes for that first one. Mm. And I, I think felt we, like I was reading out from like a script. And I think maybe we were nervous because it was the first time we were doing stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. I, I know you know I mentioned earlier that before podcast we were doing this video like um, news recaps called Tech Point Weekly Podcast. I'm um, sorry. Weekly recaps or something, yes. mm-hmm. and, and it was camera to your faces. Yes, too and it was it was. I, I'm I'm terrible in front of the camera. Me, I already mm-hmm. know. So anytime anybody calls me, I'm like, no, bro, I'm not doing do that. This. <laughs> Cause I, I, um, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so in front of the camera, no, because I kept on forgetting my lines. But but it was nice for us to like go yeah. away from all of that and do it on on audio yeah i remember then i had just gotten into podcasts in general mm-hmm. yes i listened to podcasts and i loved podcasts so it was like i f- was finally home mm-hmm. and so when they said we should come and do ours i remember thinking yeah, it wouldn't be bad but i think i was nervous because of course we had not done anything like that before mm-hmm. it was nice I, I mean i think that's the most i can remember <laughs> yeah i mean like for me like you said being nervous the first time you remember you were seeing an intern then actually yeah I don't mm-hmm. even know why I accepted to do that thing. Cause, like, <laughs> Again, I, I, I don't think we had a choice, my bro. Yeah, no, it was just I like, think you had podcast voices. They mm, wouldn't have called me. Did, did you, uh, it's you my strong so? Yoruba accent. Mm. Nah, come on. Talk <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> what was that? I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, like, I feel like personally, it was nice I did that because it helped with, I, I won't say public speaking, but, you know, just speaking about tech. Tech. you know just state of affairs in tech and all that kind of stuff so now i'm more comfortable even in front of the camera or you know just normal podcast yeah like, i remember that where like uh when, when we took a shot at camp at video podcast in yeah. 2020 just after the lockdowns were lifted i think in june mm-hmm. we were also there i have some of those videos on oh, youtube cute. was i looking shy no yeah. no you were not you, sure. you were actually natural Mm. We're not sure in the videos. And it was me. who you were, <laughs> um, Emmanuel, you and I on on the on the podcast. And I, we've come a long way. <clears throat> Thank you for coming to the studio today. So I'm going to talk about the stories that we have today. And once in a while, we have to come back to you because yeah, we're at the stars in the building today. Yeah, maybe one day I'll become an OG. <laughs> yeah, like and they will invite me here. <laughs> and I'll sit there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Emmanuel is behind the screen, actually. It's somewhere there. You know, he did that for me last week. So, yeah, it's somewhere there. 
grass and stuff. I've been regulated. To How is his family? He said regulated, <laughs> regulated. <laughs> okay, so just this yeah, morning. What do we have today. Just this, yeah. No, 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 go on. Go on. Okay. Like, today, yeah. <laughs> just the morning. Just this morning, we um got to know that Jumia would be ending the operations of Jumia Foods in um a few six Nigeria and six other African countries. And um, this is coming at a time where, where they still never <laughs> <laughs> made profit. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean that to be offensive, but yeah. And um, the reasons are <clears throat> they're diverse, and uh, there are other speculations also around this. Um, but the main thing is that um, they are stopping operations, and uh, there um, seems the seems that. Since the service is not bringing the necessary profit that it's supposed to bring, and um, since the let, let me just say what the um, the CEO said said it's better to they would rather focus more on the physical goods business because they know that it is there that the potential for Jumia to grow lies, and it's also the the path to productivity to profitability, profitability rather, yeah. and um, they would rather take this decision. Um, um, to focus on management, on the team, on capital resources, and just focus on those for the opportunities. So it's from this, I could infer that they're not making much more profit, much profit from Jumia Foods, and um, they are um, stopping the operations. But there are other conversations around it. For instance, um, a child egg here. And like the new entrance, like the new yeah. entrance. Why are they? Why are the new entrants not complaining this much, or why are they sh- giving numbers that they are doing well? And Jumia Food is saying we are closing. You know, I saw a tweet recently, and it was it was that um, when you start, you will know why um, <laughs> <laughs> it's well, an untapped well, market. market. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, that tweet is good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's, yeah. It's, it's I think it's very it's very um, apt in mm-hmm. like I mean. Jumia Food has been around for a bit, for a minute. I remember it. that. Ye- exactly. w- was it not And so the question should be that, what do they know that we don't? Hmm. And also, like, you know, other businesses are not profitable too. So yes. the new insurance, Global, Child Egg, I mean, both food eggs, they the market too. Mm-hmm. Um, none, of, uh, none of them is profitable. And for Jumia, it's a public traded company. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For them, it matters more than the others that they become profitable. Mm-hmm. So they've run out a loss for you know, almost, I mean, since they went public in 2016, or no, 2019, or 2016, one of them, yeah. Okay. So it's like, um, it's important since this, the new CEO came in, Francis um, Dufay, it's like, yeah. oh, hammering on profitability, cutting down costs, wherever. So before um, these seven markets, right, they also shut down the food delivery business in three other markets last year. Mm, okay. So now they've exited all their markets, 11 markets, right, food um, delivery. Food doesn't exist anywhere, right? Yeah, when they leave it, yeah. This. So now focusing on f- uh, what's it called um, um, fiscal um, goods. Uh, so that's for um, high ticket items like electronics, mm, like yeah. you know items that do have that are not perishable, like yeah. food, like for food. instance. And you don't have the whole you know. Um, so for for food, for instance, there's a high rise frequency, mm. right? But then yeah. the, 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 the the margin is very, very low. Is for, yeah. the, for the other um, items, you know. Um, fashion for electronics and the other um, big ticket items like plat- um, items on Jumia mm. platform, right? That's what they want to focus on. Mm. And they've been able to grow prof- profitably in three markets so far, right? From last year, from when the CEO came in last year to this okay, year, now. right? And now it's like trying to replicate that three, um, the growth or the profitability in those three markets mm-hmm. across the other mm. markets so yeah. it makes sense for him to do that but problem now is revenues will kind of drop because you know the food delivery um space was, was like same same yeah, will yeah, be was the second same, fastest same. growing um se- segment after fashion yeah. and like, i think the fastest um no fastest growing and second item sold after fashion right on mm-hmm. jimmy like a while so they lose money from there but also to help them you know streamline their expenses. Yeah, expenses right and he said something about moving some of the personnels from there to um, the yeah. so i mean there'll be some layoffs right and all that there we are back to the whole you know new entrants like child egg and global, global. it's like you know they've been in the market for two three years yes 
you've not put in the amount of capital that Jimmy has. Fair and enough. now it's like for them, they have to go on after those, you know, the the users that Jimmy are no longer serving. Yeah, so I, I think a lot of um, is it microeconomics um, <clears throat> factors affect when it uh, affect businesses that has to do with food. Mm -hmm. But then since it's vendors. It's like a marketplace for food vendors. I don't know how it's actually. Is it the infrastructure that is taking the money for mm -hmm. Jumia Foods? Or I, I really don't understand. It's not Jumia that is doing like the, the food business. Yeah, like the logistics. It's very, very capital intensive. Oh, logistics. You have to manage those bikes. Mm -hmm. You have to do all of these things. You have to pay the personnel as well. Mm. And they're it's like other offline. And it's not third like party. Yeah. No. It's the, like the mm -hmm. riders are. Yeah, yeah on the employees yeah. on the exactly. payroll. Interesting. I feel like there'll be some writers that you know do Maybe. multiple well, jobs, but most of those, them are like are, personal yeah. Yeah, drivers. Yeah, they do. I think that's that's the case. There are drivers eating. Yeah, I mean, food. yeah, there's a lot of that. <laughs> and again, I'm still going back to the margin that is really low. Very low. Like it's not. It's not a thing where you have to. You, you cannot be profitable if you don't do like millions and millions of orders every. Maybe every week, every, every month, week. for it to make sense. And it's interesting to see that as Jumia is exiting, there are other people who are. They seem to be doing well. I yeah. mean, we don't know how well. Yeah. But from what we, we, we know see, for, for Childek, right? In terms of like GMV, not. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm. Revenue, I don't know. So I'm very skeptical that. about when startups put out numbers. What? I actually like it. Like it shows yeah, that we do something right. Yeah, because they be right. lying sometimes, my bro. <laughs> Do you understand? And yeah. so it's um. I it's, get you. I so get you have point. to think, take some things with, like, with a pinch of salt because mm. you know that. I mean, it's it might be true. I'm not saying it's mm -hmm. not true, but I just always like say, mm, okay, maybe it's true, maybe it's not, but I'm not going to go and start quoting you anywhere else. Yeah. So, <coughs> and even time uh, will tell. Like, yeah, exactly. Uh, yes, with, with time, like time will tell. Like I always tell. say, I'm rooting for everybody. So, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I hope that um, they do well and then they prove everybody wrong. And uh, in a way, it seems um, well. Glover and Chowdeck now has like, like a, I don't know, maybe a shift of customers, like customers that have not always used them. They used to use Jumia Foods. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, like so me, for example. Now. I'm yeah. a very good example. I used to use Jumia Foods, but then yeah. I discovered Glover and Chowdeck. Okay. And now that Jumia yeah, Foods exactly. is no it's more. No longer, no I, longer have, I hope they make use of this. So they have to kind of raise more money, right? Yeah. To to save the to customers. This. No, no, like to, I mean, cater to them because they will have an like influx of new customers, orders, right? They have more orders and all that. Like so invest in infrastructure, yeah. yeah. And then they had, um, Z, Chowdeck uh, had a partnership recently with, with ShopRite. Yeah, so now they're into I grocery delivery. Honestly. And I don't know, I feel like that shift of, yeah, Global 2 has that. Yeah, and yeah. it's good. It's good for It's good, but it's good for, for me, the, the shift of focus is, it's, it's not just a shift of focus, it's just like adding Grocery it's, delivery I mean, to I think the it's, food it's element. Look at it from like an expansion perspective. Okay, we have done food. I mean, I don't know whether they are very like. Um, yeah, there's still more. To there's do. still more to exactly. do. Fine, so but grocery to it I mean, when you look at it from that, okay, we've been able thing. to dominate this market to an extent. Mm -hmm. What's the next thing? And mm -hmm. then they are doing this. It's not like they're abandoning the food thing. I, is that what I'm saying? Yeah. So, if for instance you raise like twenty million dollars, I don't know how much child has raised, mm -hmm. right? Hundred k. Hundred k. Publicly available data. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I mean, I'm pretty sure it probably it's raised more than money. that, mm. right? Because I love it that nobody knows. I'm sorry to you guys in media, yeah. <laughs> but we need people to stop telling us these things. Uh, Just I, I, fix, I mean, raise your money and fix your work. <laughs> so Fair what enough. are we now be doing? You get. You don't. You don't have <laughs> <laughs> because because spa, spa. No, like I'm talking about the money raising part yeah, yeah, in yeah. particular. I mean, that's so not the only things that is happening in the. Yeah. That things are that happening. That there's a signal of prosperity. Is it, is it though? So if I see that Charlie Cash is five hundred k, me as a developer now, but I want to work there. Do I know that if, if they have enough runway, right, to mm. sustain, like, I mean, it but makes more sense, like, if I say company has raised 10 million yeah. and they just raised, like, last year, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, they have, like, you know, 18 months, 24 months for me. <laughs> but they shut down. For 500k, I'm not really <laughs> sure, yeah. right? It's like, oh, <laughs> if I join in, in two months, will this company still be alive, right? So and good. That's, As in, not that's just security that, again. Exactly, no, right? So for, for the employees, too, it's yeah. also important that they have an idea of, okay, you know what the company looks like and has in terms of runway yeah, no. so yeah i mean if childhood has raised more than that maybe 10 20 it makes sense for them to juggle food delivery and, and I other what you mean, actually. right <coughs> just, so now for instance they've added the grocery part from Shoprite, and now they have more customers from food from 
you know, Jimmy Food closing down. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, they have to, to like, they can't reject those co customers, right? So yeah, they have yeah. to, you know, that's up, keep coming. up mm. their game and all that. Hopefully they raise soon or they... I mean, the thing they about raising money is so easy to talk about. And you, you don't know, like, a lot of people, yeah. especially in this market, like in this present day and age, where mm -hmm. people are struggling, people have been raising money since 2020. <laughs> they've not closed <laughs> do you understand and yeah, it's, it's not it's not I'm, I mean that's that may be a stretch or an exaggeration but that's the point <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is that it's not as easy to raise money as it used yeah, to be yeah it's not mm -hmm. and so you can imagine why they would think that you know what we are doing food but let's do something else that would then support yeah because at the like end of the day you have to make money to rev revenue. make revenue yes exactly so that you don't rely on investment all the time because mm -hmm. where's, the invest, where's the money really yeah, yeah. Like that's people are not why really raising funds of, anymore of, 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 exactly. lay, of layoffs and um, exactly. shutdowns because, because they're trying to like slip, um, streamline their operations well, so yeah, that's usually the convenient excuse no it's true oh, I hear it so I said we're not going to drag startups that <laughs> shut down anymore. today so no but I cannot do that I pity Chowde because they're competing with Glove that has raised over a billion mm. dollars. But part of like the money that Glover has is I think across its 25 markets actually. Yeah, exactly. And I think it's just 60 million they're trying to spread across Africa. I don't know how many markets they are in Africa. 60 million. Does yeah. Chowdeck have 60 million? Chowdeck is just Nigeria. Come on. Yeah, I know. Just so like Lagos. if, if they have outside of Lagos. I think they are expanding to Ibadan or something. Oh, really? Yeah, and some other markets nice. like PH. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. But like if them, Glover, see, for instance, is in 10 money. markets in Africa. So that's like six million across it, mm -hmm. like each of them. I can't. I'm not. I'm not sure, right? If there's, if it's, it's still a lot. Yeah, six. I mean, Charlie can raise up to that in seed, like based on the traction, right? That they have right now. Mm. I feel like, oh, if and if investors know that, okay, Jimmy Food is no longer there as the major competitor. It's just global now. And they can sell that story. <coughs> exactly. So you it's like, know, oh, we, we need have to raise more money mm -hmm. to be able to meet up Some with the orders that we yeah. have. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, I, I think we should. That, that's that's a good one, and um, it's good to discuss this kind of things that happen because the running a business or running a startup, for instance, in this space, the African space. I think somebody um, screenshot um, Emmanuel's. They saw Betty in the article announcing this um, this shutdown of operations that every landscape in Africa is very very difficult it's complex to work in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it goes across every business fintech um e-commerce eh? <laughs> tech you said web3 web web <laughs> crypto everywhere everyone is web3 by course. Course. all right yeah. <laughs> sure anyways there, there was there, there was like um an interesting conversation that came up earlier in the week um it, there was a report a, report, a 2023 global skills report that revealed that 1.7 million Nigerians use Coursera platform to learn. Oh. But even lot, though with that... Not enough, but it's a lot. Okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> even with that number, yeah. I, I, I think More the focus... That I would, that would have really? guessed. Yeah. Our Netflix number is what again? I don't know. It's not up to it's like, Are you sure? I'm not, I'm not surprised. 100k. You know, Wait, is it Netflix? One Sorry, account. YouTube, brather. Oh, okay. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, not Netflix. Yeah. I'm just like, you know, what are we watching on YouTube? Why are they not watching it on Coursera? Sorry. Hey, we can, you can, no, not just movies. There are people take like free courses on YouTube as well. Who is the host again? <laughs> <laughs> don't they? No, they don't, they don't know what they say. It's like Netflix. I mean, YouTube is like the free, freest university in the world or whatnot. Yeah, That's fair what they enough. Say. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so Coursera is like paid courses, right? You know, yeah, there are free, courses. Yeah, free well. courses and they have coupons wow. every other day. I can be exposing myself. <laughs> <laughs> you are not one of the 1.7 million. He's not. Unfortunately. <laughs> He's not. But um, the stats are not really like very interesting for Nigeria because mm. the reports cover the whole of um, Sub-Saharan Africa. Kenya is how many, if you have any idea? Do you have an idea? Kenya. Yeah? Kenya. Kenya, yeah. Uh, in, this, in this article I'm looking at, um, I see UK, I see India. Okay, not sub Okay, so I, I think those, those UK, are... Nigeria. Okay, so th those are the ones that are captured in this article I'm looking at. So are you trying to say like Nigeria is the leading whatever? No, no, no. It's 100 yeah, so. on the list. Hey. But it's, is it number one in Africa? As no, no, it's not possible. No, no. Hundred on not. the list, and nah. It's I think not SA or Kenya probably. The okay, I think the numbers are. So the highest ranking, sorry, 
The highest ranking in Africa includes Botswana, oh. Cameroon, Rwanda, and Zambia. Jesus. And they hold the 29th position, 48th position, 52nd position, the 58th. This? Is it numbers? In number? Because if you look at the population of these countries that you mentioned, mm -hmm. yeah. and you now, like, just Very opposite I think to it's, us, it maybe, maybe there is a comparison. There has to be. Because if you're saying Rwanda, how many are they? Yeah, maybe the size of Ikorodu. <laughs> Yes, but, no. But, no, okay. Okay, it it so might be for like not compare them it, to like the entirety of Nigeria. Of Nigeria and people know. that use. I mean, I'm Coursera. just saying that because I don't know. Well, then like again, the it's like is it percentage wise or yeah, if it's percentage, then it will make. Or sense. if it's like pure numbers, then that's something. Yeah. Oh, the the uh, the position I mentioned now is um based on this terms in terms of um skill proficiency. Oh. Okay. In terms of skill okay, proficiency, as they use, I don't think this is the numbers. Yeah, okay. So, fair but um, I'm I'm not very sure um, the numbers for other African, African countries. countries. But Nigeria is hundred on the list. One one <laughs> yes, one point seven million. Yeah, proficiency. Well, skill proficiency hundreds. I believe them. Interestingly, interestingly. Okay, so sub-Saharan Africa in total is four point nine million. Mm -hmm. And Nigeria is 1.7 million. 1. 7 million. So mm -hmm. they did a spotlight on Nigeria and they did a spotlight on South Africa, which is 900,000. Mm -hmm. oh. We have more people. We have more. So we have like 30% of the entire. Yeah, so yeah. I think we're the highest. We're but the, the highest. ranking is where. The ranking of skill proficiency, proficiency. is the issue. Because I figured that we have the most number. 100 and um, so this East African countries. Our like um, Nigerians that do these things don't. Yeah, like when they've Finish taken these skills, they yeah. don't really like. They're not Master really proficient it. Yeah. in. Yeah, like uh, and skill. So maybe you learned something on like business um, analytics or something, and then when it's time to show work, you <laughs> found one. Oh, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Oh, ma okay, okay. Maybe what they used to um to grade this is the test yeah, the you test. do before yeah. you get yeah, your maybe. certificate. They said Nigerians were smart, though. But all right. Yeah. Smart. Yeah, so there, there are a lot of things that might influence that. Some people do the courses oh, and so don't do Lagos the test. Traffic. Please. That's <laughs> what we remember that there's Lagos traffic. Isn't that what it is in Lagos? Yeah, for people. And then there's, do you sure know who our president is? Probably like 1.6 that is in Lagos. Uh oh. Sorry. I'm just being Fair biased. enough because <laughs> it requires the internet. And when you step out, um, I, don't I was know. joking, please. Don't. No, yes, yes. They, you, you make a valid point, actually. <laughs> There are a lot you of make a valid point yeah, that a huge from percentage Lagos, of the people would be here yeah. in Lagos. Hmm. Yeah, that's a valid it's point. And Lagos traffic is very important. See? Yeah, so there, there are a lot of there are a lot of things that <laughs> that um affect there are a lot of factors that affect skill proficiency. Sometimes you don't your completion rate might be low. Yeah. Then you don't do the so f there are some free courses that you have to pay to do the exams or get certificate. Then you do the course, you don't take you don't evaluation. Take yeah. They don't oh, evaluate you, so, so they true. don't. Yes, but people learn, go there to learn. And then there are coupons and Black Friday um, discounts. People do that, they don't get their their certificates. Yeah. So that can also contribute then. Yeah. Apart from that, there's the infrastructure part of people having the right infrastructure to learn online. <clears throat> and I was speaking to some EdTech founders recently and um, some of them are not very proud of their completion rates because as far as they are concerned, physical learning still trumps. And learning online might not be the best for the kind of environment that mm. we are right now. It might not be encouraged because you don't have data. You don't have. You work with all school, oh, and yeah. I, I think so you can I speak th to yeah, that kind I of challenge. That what, That's what you said. Lagos traffic. <laughs> what <laughs> we, um, I think, a way that we, to, we try to avoid stuff like that is because um, old school runs a cord based system, so everybody has to learn at the same time. Hmm. You begin at the same time, you end at the same time. Mm. So we have like checks in between. So if you don't finish this thing, you're not going to the next so thing like that. Thing. So when you know that you are moving with people, we have a community of people. In, um, in addition to the larger community, we have like yeah. uh, learning circles where they put like 10 people together. Mm -hmm. So we motivate each other. Have you done your assignments? Have you gone through? So, like so things like, thing. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So things like this help you like to hold one another along the journey mm -hmm. so that's why we we might not have like the same issues i mean it, it's a general thing but maybe we're able to like mitigate those challenges a bit more than um self-learning platforms like Coursera or udemy yeah because everybody is moving at the same time you have people you have a community behind you to know that you're not mm -hmm. doing this on your own because when you go on Coursera, you're literally on your own yeah wake up tomorrow and be like, oh, 
I don't feel like doing this course today. Let me just wait till tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow is like three months <coughs> away, right? And so, but when you know that you have exams tomorrow, and you have somebody texting you on WhatsApp and saying, "Alpha, have you guys completed your assignment?" Don't just graduate with your sets. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You're able to like. Do you want to graduate with your Exactly. Your, your mom school motivated fees. to like. You, you pay know. school fees too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's and it's not free. Yes. Right. Especially if you're even paying with your own money. Mm-hmm. So the Nobody's going to is, tell you. It's nice. It's yes, it's really good because. Um, Again, we have so you see them on Twitter all the time, like old schoolers coming to Twitter about their learning circles, mm-hmm. their completion, or their progress and stuff. You don't see that yeah. in Coursera. Yeah, because again, it's, <laughs> it's self learning, right? It's not it's not easy. Let's be no, as much yeah, as you have like self deep easy. discipline. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you just wake you need up. Need somebody to wait, to exactly, make it to hold you accountable. You will enter again Lagos traffic. But we're all adults. You s- I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Sorry, I everybody. think you should to play devil's advocate no, here yeah, because you understand easy. the struggle. No, it's really not easy, right? So. Yeah. So it's nice to be able to have those people come along with you as you go through the journey. I also saw some interesting insight in, in the report that you were talking about, and that is how entrepreneurship um, skills and business skills are mostly the sought-after skills on Coursera, even for self-learner. Uh, and it, it also brings me to the to the to a particular course that about sales that all school is currently um, doing high sales impact course, sales course, just six weeks course. And um, just imagine having having to go and self-learn sales hmm. on Coursera, for instance, and having to do it for six weeks with a community behind you at All School Africa. So there is there is this early bird tuition fee that is going on, and I want to let you in. Grab your copy it. now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, this is not just self-learning. We're not just going to send you videos to watch. You're going to sit under the learning online, of course, of um, of facilitators that have gone ahead to close a cumulative of $10 million deal across the world. And so they know their onions. They, they've been in this space and they know what works and what doesn't work. So if you want to take advantage of this, We'll drop a link in the description and you can jo- you can pay for the early bird ticket, um, tuition rather, which is highly discounted. Then you can also use our discount tech point. Tech point is the discount code to get another discount. You know, it's double, double yeah. discount. Mm-hmm. And I've mentioned, I as I mentioned in this podcast before, everybody needs to know how to sell everybody because we know we have dreams we have visions we we're talking before we started this podcast how people think of business ideas and try to bring it to life if you can't tell it to people people will not give you money you will not get investor money let me just tell you that so you need to learn how to sell either you are leading a sales team or you're the owner of a business or you're a founder anybody or, or you're, you're a, career, a journalist or you're a career professional yes or you're a career professional so everybody needs to know how to sell because money is cast now and you need to tell people things they should hear ethically to for them to give you money it's so it's 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 a lot of <laughs> things there you need to learn it so we'll drop the link in the description and grab Go your and copy now page <laughs> 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 so that said Emmanuel said he has some incriminating numbers that he wants to talk about incriminating <laughs> okay so yeah, the number mm-hmm. I shared before, first of all, was for Sub-Saharan Africa, in mm-hmm. the entirety of Africa. Egypt, That's 4.9 million. 4.9 million. Wow. But mm-hmm. for, That's plenty rich. For Africa... <laughs> Egypt is number one. Egypt is the number one, 2.2 2 million. Hmm. Wow. That's nice. But what I found interesting about Nigeria's numbers is why we are, say, doing well with accounting, entrepreneurship, <laughs> and all of that. Mm-hmm. We are doing terribly with tech courses at, ah. on Coursera. Cloud computing, 3%. Mm. Computer programming, 5%. Mm-hmm. Operating you know, I'm system, not surprised. 1%. No, but we're all doing tech bro, tech bro, tech bro. I no, mean, what's you, going on? Isn't, is this, no, she, she, she gave us some some um, context about like the different things that might Go be on the on. reasons yes. why. It's not easy to learn technical skills on your own. Yes. It's not. Trust me. So we won't do that afterwards. What do you mean? <laughs> That's one out of maybe a hundred or a thousand people. Exactly. It's and not easy. Uh, it's not. It's not. And do you know how frustrating you you get frustrated one day and you just leave your laptop and go and learn how yeah, to like do carpentry. Take 
or exactly. sell things on Instagram or, or something like that. Or you gotta change your laptop for spaghetti. Did you see? Did you see that? I've seen that meme. I've seen that meme. It's time to reconsider this tech. Yeah. So it's not. Yeah. So it's not easy learning technical things. You know. There is this thing with going to the university and, and learning technique. One of my one of my bias against um, core technical or science courses in Nigerian universities is because you don't get to learn the real life things. But when you learn things like entrepreneurship, you can see real life experiences. Even if you are self learning, when you learn business, you can see real life experiences. But when it's tech, you really need somebody to hold your hands and and put you through. I, mean, I don't like the way you're looking you at know, me. No, I think we don't, actually have it, it people don't who me. have learned on their own, come and enroll. Because they need, because you learn on your own and you just learn haphazardly. Like, you learn yes. this, you don't know, you don't even have like a structured learning plan mm-hmm. or a, um, a plan. I think that's the best word to use. And so when you have like a structured, somebody is checking on you, you have checks here and there, you're able to learn what you're supposed to learn. It can even take you longer if you're learning on your own. Because first of all, you don't know what to learn. You're just jumping from one one um, course to another, another yeah. right? Because you're not sure of, okay, I'm at this level Fair of enough. my learning um, journey. What am I supposed to be learning now? You have no idea. So that's mm. maybe one of the reasons why you're jumping from one, and then it's, it's being recorded as a statistic. And now you're dragging our tech bros. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So it's it. I mean, as human beings, only a few people who can like have that. I don't know whether I self discipline to say, okay, this is what I want to do. Like, I mean, like, do you know like how me. many courses I have? Do you know I've <laughs> but I agree. Then, I agree. I think. Know? I think the point Imana is trying to make is that tech is being overrated. No, I don't think so. I don't. I don't agree with that. Mm. You know, I don't. I mean, well, in the I agree. I agree mm-hmm. with you guys, uh, and I are concede. Sure? But yeah. my own is: how many Nigerian tech bros are learning operating systems? What now? What conversation yeah. for another <laughs> day? So the next thing we're going <laughs> to be talking about is one interesting <laughs> news that um, Flutter with I had t- six new executives. Let's take a moment to process that. <laughs> no, what's, what's special? And about now, executives? what is special about this is that these executives are from notable firms like Binance, Cash App, um, Binance US, mm-hmm. Cash App, PayPal, what other? Western Stripe. Union, Stripe. Stripe. So those be big names. Oh, the Stripe person there. Yeah. I think the, the first thing that came to mind is like this about trying to like. Um, um, posture. No, not posture. Like, uh, what's the word? Perfect Establish I... themselves in the US. Yeah, they are. Mm. I mean, the license thing too. That's what right. it is. Because when you start hiring people like that in that type of location, you know, these people. Yeah, have come to think of it, the roles, the roles include RICS officer, um, VP Global Expansion and Payment Partnership, VP Global Expansion, another person, Executive VP. Oh, there's VP and there's executive VP. <laughs> and there's head VP of compliance in the management. US. So exactly. I think that is, you, you, you're, you're very is. right with that. Well, I saw an interesting quote of that announcement and the person said, where is yeah. Flutter Wave seeing this money? <laughs> there is to 50 money million now. Now, yeah, talk talk now you talk <laughs> Yes. Okay. Have you found yeah. an answer to it? I No, like where is Flutter Wave seeing the money to hire six... I mean, you don't even want to start thinking about oh, wait, how much now. they have to pay. I think fifty million is more money or what? Yeah, so they raise money. Also, you know? they're making. They're not making. So they should be using exactly. so money to the raise to pay salaries. Mm. What they use it before for? <laughs> to, to, to run their business. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, pay salaries. So okay. if they imagine if they establish their yeah, and they have their presence too. in mm. the US, yeah, I mean, yeah. they'll make more money. More money so there too. My, my issue was, you know, they just got licenses in thirteen new states. I read somewhere, I've, I've not been able to verify, so take what I'm saying with a pinch of salt, but those state licenses cost in the region of $1 million. Mm-hmm. So 13 states. That they raised so that's 250K or that was like million. a year ago. So, yeah, that was a year ago. So huh? they raised to 50 million. million yeah. Over a year ago. Yeah. You yeah. revenue now. So and then you can look, take a bet on a company, on any startup that is making revenue already. 
It's po- do, you know, do you know it's possible that they even raise another money? You don't exactly. Know. There's that too. And also, like, right? when they raise I mean, it to I'm 50, not, I don't know what they're they about with their investors. money. I'm just saying. <laughs> right. What <laughs> they're going to use the money for. Mm-hmm. This might have been part of the. Exactly. Like, was it earlier this year that they hired um, an HR, a foreign HR? I think that was like the start of them, of lot that we've been getting foreign executive, foreign mm. executives. Yeah. And so, foreign is not a company that we have in mind. I mean, yes, they are unicorn, 3 billion, blah, blah, blah. Right. We think, she think they're African. Yeah. But this mm. position is, I'll, I'll say, I don't think we've seen something like this yet. Yeah. We don't even know the extent no. it's going to, mm-hmm. to, you know, reach. So, mm-hmm. like, you'll probably raise another series. I think that was series D, so series E might be in the works, right? And, and then F and the circles keeps going on. Yeah, and so, like and also ties back to, like, the CFO and the other finance guys mm-hmm. leaving. And people were, like, oh, questioning mm-hmm. the IPO plans and, you know, if the company is experiencing some tumult and all that well, I mean, if you see that, yeah, there were six more people, yeah. So it's probably some, it was already a work in progress, yeah. like some mm. people will leave and some people will replace them. So, like, three versus six, yeah. and all these guys are in um, finance, yeah, right? Risk management and compliance. expansion, compliance, mm. right? Very important, um, rules that the CFO, like, you know, would, might, might have been doing, but mm-hmm. you know. Probably having like two, more, three more. Yeah, more like more people, especially that. people who yeah. have experience in the US in market. The US, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, higher strong from Stripe, PayPal versus. Okay, let me not continue. Sorry. <laughs> let me, let me just stop. We'll see how it goes, actually. Yeah. But yeah, how so like, I, 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 I think they are well capitalized. I have a, I have a theory about this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Say a theory. <laughs> so, I have a theory. I think. So, here's what I think a lot of Africans that have been going public in the US stock market. They've not done well. Jumia has not done well. Jumia is the only one now. <laughs> Tingo <Yes>. is there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we raise that comp. I do, it's, f- it's fine. Like, I don't <laughs> think there's a real company. How did they IPO? Tingo. No, 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 Tingo zone is, is, is sketchy. It's sketchy. We talked about it on this did podcast. Do have a real product? How did they IPO? Did they well, IPO per se? It was a direct listing, right? A direct and listing. Okay, it was true. still like sketchy until now <laughs> like to date yeah. i don't even know if they are like trading properly right so personally like, find out i'm, I'm going to waste my strength on that <laughs> <call it company. laughs> investigative journalism so f- <laughs> <laughs> yeah but me i was just thinking that okay flutterwave might be just trying to deepen their presence in the u.s ahead of a u.s IPO. IPO. yeah that so makes that sense. they are more familiar u.s and investors more liquidity, yeah. yeah so an ipo with a company that is already well known in the US, mm-hmm. is more likely to be successful. Makes more than, sense. Oh, and this, they have operations so yeah, from yeah. nowhere, from Africa. Oh, it's from yeah. Africa. Yeah. How much is Africa making? That kind of thing. So, so they're very, very yeah. smart. So it's posturing. Yeah. yeah. It's posturing, but if they're able to like back it up with real operations on the ground, mm-hmm. right? So it's I think one the license thing is for them to for send, right? I don't know if they they will to do the whole B two B thing, right? With the licenses, but like send for instance, able to uh, like you know transfer like mm-hmm. remittance, remittance and cross border. Yeah. Yeah. Parents are making it maybe better than what we what have with Western have. Union or MoneyGram and all those guys, right? If they were to crack that with the licenses that they have, then that's like a gold mine for them. It's like more people in the US who use that to send more money than the traditional methods, right? So they were established that as a US product, mm-hmm. like like how I think was it Send Wave before you know they became Wave, right? Uh, mm. Was doing and for them, it's good, like Emmanuel said now, you know get more familiar with the retail investors there. So when they're going public, it's like, oh, mm-hmm. this is kind of one of our own. Like, unlike Jimmy, it's like imported from Africa and nobody really cared, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it makes sense just to see, like, again, time will tell. Time will, his fingers if, crossed. If, 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 if it works out. Yeah. Mm. It go V, right? Talking about rules. So you guys started as journalists. Oh, wow. What are you doing now? Back, the spotlight is back on us. I'm still a journalist, though. <laughs> eh? I'm still a journalist, yeah, but still I'm still a journalist. Know, pushing a career in music, so. <laughs> so I'll have my, best. Off my EP. <laughs> <laughs> All the best with that. So, this is what do you now do? What do you um, currently do? Um, now is project manager. Whoop, whoop. Managing <laughs> a couple of projects. And people. Uh, no, mostly Just projects. Project, okay. Mostly projects. I mean, of course, people are there doing their own thing. People but are projects. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, but that's what that's <laughs> what I, curr- that's what I currently do in a nutshell. Do you prefer that to like being a journalist? Um, you know, when I was a journalist I knew that I wouldn't do it for the longest time. Wow. Mm. Yeah, like for real. So I mean like there's a bro kind of thing like that don't think make money or yeah. something as like that. As much as I mean there was a time the way I thought oh yeah, I was okay at it, but I just felt like 
No, you're not okay. You're very. I just felt like, oh, well, thank you. I was just trying to be modest. Wow. <laughs> 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 I was just trying to be modest, but yeah, I just knew. I knew that it wasn't long term. Yeah, it wasn't long term. So. We did for like four years. No? Yeah, I did for five. I mean, that's enough. That's enough for. Yeah, huh? it's enough. So. How long have you guys been doing this thing? Ask yourself four. first. <laughs> you ask yourself You've first. You've been longer. No, oh. no, no. All of us are the same period. We've all been in it. It's almost five. Yeah. Yeah. No, not was close mid, to five. It's closer. No, no, no. It's August 2019. Yeah, I'm saying mid 2019. Mid 2019. Yeah. No, August is not mid. August. It's mid for me. I'm sorry. So four years. I mean, August is not mid. Oh, it's not shit. I mean, yeah. So. I thought it was like, I don't know. Yeah, so it's four years. Is it? Mm, it's I four like, years plus. Yeah, I'm not call, like I, I thought it was five years. It feels longer than. than it feels like yeah. four years. Yeah, but mm. Not much different. So, so how long are you doing this for, Tej? How long more? It's not four years now. So Tej has already said he's trying to come, come um, bring up an EP. Three years with TechCrunch. Eighteen months with TechPoint. It's four years. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So it's only four years. It's said four years it plus. It's August closer now. to four years than it is to five, five years. years. It's four years and six months. No, up to six, six months. months. So have I done three years with TechCrunch like, and 18 months? Is it you can do your math very well? No, it's four years and, and, and four months. Are you sure? Yeah, if, you, if you said August. You've not done up to three years with TechCrunch, did you? I have. Yeah, rounding up. When did you, no. when did you start? You, February. Jan, no, Jan January. Really? Yeah. Yes, yeah, January now. Exactly, so in January it'll be like... 2021. It's still not before yeah. years. So the whole of 2021. Yes. No, the whole of 2021. Oh God, now our listeners are probably looking at us and be like, <laughs> what, what is wrong with these people? What is wrong with these people? What is wrong with these people? should pay attention <laughs> in math class. Math is that. That's three years now. When they said pay attention in math class, what were you doing? Is it not three years? It's three years. Exactly. It's just three years in, in January. In January. In January or this December. Don't worry about it. I'm not, it's, it's, but you know it's the end of January. It's five years. I, I feel but you like know I'm it's the end of song. January. You joined, you joined TechCrunch. You not tell me how long first week. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are, oh, we are down to level, right? <laughs> oh my God. I feel like oh I was more than four years. Yeah. I, like you yes. said, I want to like music. You yeah, know? Music, music for him. So, yeah. But yeah, so like I said, I didn't think I was going to do it for a, lo- a long time. And when it, f- it felt like I was getting to that point where... I needed to Run do out. something else. No, it was just it just felt like I needed to to, to do, do something, something else. Yes, yeah, so that was when I stopped doing it. Yeah, was, it, it was it was a two times startup founder. Did you get? Listen, yeah. <laughs> listen, hmm. don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't do not do it. Whatever yeah. job you have, like just hold. Oh, it's to, not trying to be a startup founder. Talking to you, like watching oh me right God. now. Do, do not do it. Okay. But yeah, we need we need more um, risk, pro- risk solutions takers. to the yeah. problems that we face. So yeah, by all means, do it. Uh-huh. Since we have, don't <laughs> don't mind. And I was joking at first, but I think that we, as much as we have like a lot of entrepreneurs in Nigeria, mm-hmm. um, it's never too much, especially those who want to solve real problems. Real problems. So please, by all means, if you have problems. If you have like an idea that will solve some of our problems, please start with Lagos traffic. Market. Please start there. Still, uh, like Lagos traffic is a, it's it's a, it's still an infrastructure problem. Yeah, I know that. I'm just saying, like, yeah. of course you can't solve Lagos Beauty. traffic, but I'm just saying, like, like there are really like um, a lot of problems that need to be solved. So please do that. Thank you very much. Like food delivery. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> we don't have enough. Food we don't have food delivery enough platform. Just two now. It's been a great time in the studio with you guys today. Been, <laughs> really great. And Emmanuel, thanks so, for chipping in uh, one or two times. I'll be coming here like when I release my, my first single. Yeah, you have to help You have to help Emmanuel to promote his music. I'm, I'm Emmanuel. Tage. I mean, sorry, Tage. Tage. Sorry, yeah, Emmanuel, sorry, Tage. Emmanuel, you also sing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't feature you. Emmanuel <laughs> can rap. <laughs> Emmanuel, can you rap? <laughs> can you rap? No. Please. Yes, you can yeah, now. Can rap, oh. uh-uh. Let, let can me rap. single first. No, if, if you, you blow, need somebody to like feature Sumba. in your... Tell me something like how Ashake did. Yeah, you know, oh, okay, Sumba. then I'll just... I'll, I'll, I thought you said you wanted to do Natalie Basti off camera the other time. He forgot. He forgot. Come on. He has denied it. He forgot. So, guys, the next time you see Tage, you might be onto something else. Yes. Music. You like, see him rolling with the likes of Whiskey and David. Straight up, straight up. And, like, you know, Tech Point Africa podcast was the first place. Listen. I said it. You know, Listen. I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. I love it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I, I think there are a few mentions. Um, Chipa Cash. What did you get? Laid off. Oh. What's time? Mm-hmm. In 12 months. And they said it would be profitable soon, right? So. <laughs> that is, it is like it, no, in the the way I saw the news, it was like um, 
what's the figure of speech? Um, like you say, okay, we are laying off. We'll soon be profitable soon. Are you not trying to like streamline so that at least you can stay afloat, alive. <laughs> stay alive? Now you say you're going to be profitable soon. Yes, it's a game of time. So, so. sometimes, yeah. Like mm-hmm. I have okay, very yeah, strong opinions about like startups and hiring, and then having to now lay off people. Sometimes people hire people they don't need, mm. and so sometimes like shedding that excessive fat does not mean that this business is struggling. struggling. It might just mean that they've come to their senses. I'm like you know what? <laughs> we don't really. These people are just fast faffing off. Mm-hmm. In the office, just watching YouTube videos and Instagram reels because there's no work for yeah, them exactly, to do. and then they realize that they're just wasting money on overhead costs and salaries and all of that. But we need to. I'm not saying employed. that that is the case for Chipa Kasho. I'm just saying that, um, aside the fact that some people are laying love just to stay alive, other people are just cutting the excessive fat. But you know the 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 reports of the previous layoffs are usually around. We are trying to survive, trying to survive. Mm-hmm. There was a time. We heard that cheaper, cheaper cash wanted to yeah. be acquired. Yeah. Like, want mm-hmm. to so, off. yeah, that might be. So, mm-hmm. now we're not. Yeah. See, at the end of the day, just put yourself in the, the shoes of a startup. You're not coming out to come and tell people the truth. Let's all be honest with ourselves. <laughs> Do you understand? Of Let's be honest. I see what you did there. It's true. You're not coming out to tell people the truth. Let's be honest with yes. ourselves. So. <laughs> it's true. Like, you know, things are happening in house. Mm hmm. We we have a comms team that can whip up one narrative and put it out there. Yeah, and always on your narrative. The media will swallow it up and spread it. Well, they'll do yeah. that or, you know. You know, and sometimes they'll try to do their um, own, their um, own. And sometimes they might find the real truth. Other times, maybe not. 10% of the time. They find the truth. Remaining yeah. 90%. Working with startups yeah. so much. Only so true, you, you, you actually know they're telling you lies. It's not like you know for a fact. It's just like some things don't add up. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, what can you do about it? Exactly. Mm. Right. And then when it's you like try to like time. shake the tree to see what falls, mm-hmm. sometimes nothing falls. Exactly. It's like everything's compact and, you know, I respect Fortunately, that. Fortunately, I even some KGB <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it's, it's true. It's at, true. At some point, you just say, is this even worth it? It's yeah. true. Mm. Sometimes, most times, it's not worth it. Is because at some point, it starts feeling like you're even witch hunting. Yeah. yeah. It's mm. Like, like yeah. why are you let on that case? Like, just leave. The, you, you can't, can't let them be. You can't so actually. You can't. you can't drink water. How many people do you want to follow? They're hydrated and mind my business. Unless they are really hurting people. Like they are. But if it's just that, they are just... Doing not doing well. Yeah, 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 like, but oh, you don't know how to do it. The casualties are business? usually human. <laughs> do you understand? The well, casualties so, are so, humans. So, 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 Either livelihood or people's customer money. It happens. It happens all the time. Yeah. It happens all the time. It's just they're just like um. What was the word I'm looking for now? Collateral, Collateral damage. damage. Mm-hmm. It happens, but see, that's just life. <sighs> it's just Nuggets the truth. From <laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> It's just life. Like things don't go every, uh, go your way all the time. Some people are going to lose their jobs. Like yeah. the Christmas and Christmas fair, holiday, people are supposed to go home with rice, and some people they are serving their breakfast hmm. at their office wow. space. It's true, and I'm not oh, even okay, talking about tech like, now. Like food to breakfast. Okay, no, sorry. like, <laughs> like so termination letters. I know. I just wanted to be sure. <laughs> like in, I'm not even talking about in tech now. Like generally, mm. people are because the economy is tough. It is, and at the end is. of the day, as a business, you have to look out for yourself. True. Like it's nice to say, We're "Oh, we family. love our people, We're we family. love them." At the end of the day, they are losing their jobs. It's mm. nice. I mean, we saw what's his name now, Pestak. Um, Shala. Yeah, that's the most you can do. You can be empathetic about it, but at the end of the day, those people don't have those jobs anymore. It's just yeah. what it is. It is. Do you understand? Is. So <laughs> it is what it is. No, do not. Well, you try. If the company was, I mean, as yeah, somebody quiet. who has built a startup that is struggling, I can tell you for free, it's not easy. Not you easy. try your best. You so do don't, every try it, don't try it out. No, way. do it. <laughs> because <laughs> I, I think it helps. It builds character. Yes. Mm. He, he yes. <laughs> Why yes. is it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. development. 100%. You know, I'm 100%. There, it's just, you it know. builds character. I it that, I teaches you skills. I mean, I think that I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now if I didn't build a startup. Because you're, mm. you're building a new startup, you are doing everything. I was doing literally everything except the, the building of like the website right, yeah, and the everything. HR, yeah, the pro- project and that's manager. why I'm a project manager now because in this life I have juggled a thousand projects at the mm. same time and they didn't fall apart. I'm like, yeah, sure, let's do this. Hmm. So, yeah, 
Yeah, there, there, are, there are other news on um, the Tech Point Africa website. You can check them out. FCCPC, that is uh, Federal Cons- Consumer... Co- Cons- there's Consumer, there's Protection. <laughs> and there's Commission in that in that, in that that acronym. It says... That <laughs> Sorry, a journalist should not do that. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, they said All that right. illegal loan apps continue to thrive because they use <clears throat> payment switch, yes, payment switch wallet, and then new boat riders to take selfies before a ride the request due to safety concerns. That's in that SA, is right? in South Africa. Yeah. Yes, um, and hey. then Google to hey, allow. For- <laughs> no, no, it's the riders. Is it the riders, not the drivers? Like. If you want to take a ride now, you have to take a selfie. Yes. Oh, yes. you the rider. Yeah. The idea is to protect the, the ride drivers. drivers. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah. Because people be moving crazy. Hello. Hey, what's that thing? Hi, I'm the driver. I'm, I'm the driver. Stop, 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 stop it. Stop it. I'm not the rider. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the lider. Hey, do not. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking do right for the lider. <laughs> I'll be like, it's my friend. She's the lider. <laughs> <laughs> Then you can see the news of Google to allow crypto-related ads. Um, that's mm-hmm. it today on the Tech Point Africa podcast. Thanks for hey. joining us, our audio lovers on Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeart Radio. What's the end? And any you get your podcast. Sorry, Thank quick you. question before I continue. The video, do you like have the full um, cut on YouTube? On Without... With full court, like, like without anything being said, you you don't have to go and listen to the audio to get the full gist. Okay, so that that has been the way it is. Then there's a new development. Ah, okay. Can we take a poll in the studio whether we should put the full video on YouTube for this episode? <laughs> for no, this no, episode, this because <laughs> next next week is our last episode for the year. So let let's I don't know if let's just take a poll in the studio right now. Should we release the full? <laughs> Should we release the full video on YouTube? So it's for four of you. It doesn't matter. Let them do it on their own. Yeah. Sure, go ahead. Who's going to break the tie? You will break it on your own now. (laughs) Yeah, so what we do normally is... It's just four of you now. You just vote. Uh, Yeah, let's vote for... Hands up. For what? For full video on YouTube. (laughs) Okay. Okay, so this goes so on. Yeah, the bad brother person. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm just I the one that I did the video. Yes. And so that's the thing about the work that is in front of her. Yeah. Like, who's going to do yeah. that? Okay, this will be the last one. This will be the last yeah. one. We put the food. No, no, no. This is a special episode. We have See. the OGs in the studio. What do you expect? Yeah, exactly. We need. Okay, I should rest. <laughs> I should rest. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. She said we're not OGs. Bro. Okay. Oh, no, man, how no, that is. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so please um next week will be the last episode for this year um we'll be in the studio to record it to make sure we bring bolu chim gozurim Emmanuel will be here i will be here so um the house. production people will also come to the front of the camera or we turn the camera to them depending on how they behave <laughs> anyhow so but we'll all be here <laughs> we'll be here next week to say our farewell for the year and we'll see you next year but for now thank you Titi thank you Tej for coming here hopefully maybe once in a year we'll bring you here so that you can yeah. come and give us that <laughs> nostalgic <laughs> feeling one day we will we'll become share, OG we'll ourselves but for now I'm Oluwani Femi Kola Wale the co-host today thanks for coming to this thank studio. you bye, bye. Emmanuel say your bye from behind the bye. screen bye bye